Hi there, this video is going to go over um, creating a ragdoll for your uh, player character in UFPS. Um, first thing I did was I opened up the uh, demo scene 3. Um, I located the demo object, disabled that, locate the hero, going to disable that. And then if you look at your prefabs, I'm going to drag this advanced player character into the scene. I'm actually just going to put them at uh, 114, 104.1, and negative 87. Giving them a rotation of uh, 142 on the Y. Uh, just so that um, when I hit play, is actually facing uh, the scene. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to locate under UFPS, Base, Content, Art, Body. If you go down here to the models in the hero, there's three different uh, models. I'm going to grab this one that says Hero, No Head, No Arm. It has um, materials set up for um, that, the different uh, parts of the body. So it has a, a head material, arm material, and so on. And um, I'm going to actually select the hero. And I'm going to change these uh, materials. Here, let me focus on them. So if you notice, when you drag them into the scene, it doesn't have any materials assigned. So if you look right here in the um, materials folder, so the first slot I'm going to drag on hero. The second slot I'm going to drag on head, and the third slot I'm going to drag on arm. And now when we look at it, it's got the materials assigned. And right now it's at position 000, so that's where I want it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I've, uh, I have the top level selected. I am going to create a um, ragdoll. So you go game object, 3D object, ragdoll. And then what you're going to do is you're going to assign all of these uh, transforms. Uh, so for the first one, I'm going to assign the uh, hips. And then I'm going to expand this down. Uh, th this is actually the skeleton. Uh, so I'm going to do the left leg. So that'll be the left hips. And I'll do the right leg, so I'm going to match it. And if I expand these two up, you'll see that the left leg is the knee. So I'm going to put that onto left knee, right knee. And then we need the foot. So I'm going to drag the left foot, the right foot. I'm going to uh, shrink these down. Then I'm going to expand out the spine. So uh, since I have the middle spine, I'm going to go ahead and assign that right here. Uh, middle spine. We'll go spine one. I'll go under the middle spine. Uh, keep expanding this out. I'm going to go ahead and assign the head. Uh, and then I'm going to work on the uh, the left arm. So you'll see the arm is right here because if we go one more level down, it's going to be the elbow. So I've got the left arm and the left elbow. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. You've got the right arm and the right elbow. So now that everything's assigned, I am going to hit create. And if you, um, you'll see all the green, I've got the uh, ragdoll is now created. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up in the scene view so that we can see it and test it out. So I'm going to put it at 117, 107 negative 90 and I'm going to make the rotation just 340 uh, 00 
So if I focus on it, you'll see it's right here, which is in front of the player. So when I hit play, you'll see it fall. So see our ragdoll fell. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename this object. So I'm going to call it body. And then I'm going to make it a child of the advanced player. So you just drag it on top of the advanced player. And I'm going to reset this transform. So if you look at it, it's right in position where my advanced player is. All right, so next we need to assign some things to the body. Um, so if you look under this uh, UFPS base content art body, uh, the animators, we're going to add this animator right here. So you just drag it on. Uh, we need to turn off this root motion. So you notice it says apply root motion, it's checked. We need to deselect that object, that uh, check mark. Uh, next, we're going to add a script. So this will be the VP FP body animator right here. Um, so I'm going to assign the same uh, head bone that I did before. So if you expand this out, if you remember, it was on uh, the spine right here um, above the neck and then for the lowest spine bone I'm actually going to assign the one that's called spine um, under this material right here I'm going to go ahead and grab um, in the materials folder this invisible shadow caster Um, after that, I'm going to add on the VP Ragdoll Handler. So we go under Add Component Scripts, go down to a VP Ragdoll Handler, and we need to assign the headbone again. So we assign the headbone. Uh, after that, you're going to want to apply your changes to your prefab. And if you want to test it out, you can just hit play. Um, so you'll see, you can see the character. If you hit the V key, uh, the letter V, as in Victor, it'll show um, it'll show your character. And then if I do not press this button, see my character's ragdolled. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them on the uh, forums, on the Vision Punk forums, and uh, someone will get back to you. Thanks a lot.